Hi guys, Jenna here with Tiny House Giant Journey. And one of the biggest questions I get about living in a tiny house is if you could possibly do it with a family. Well, I interviewed a family of five living in a tiny space that's less than 400 square feet. So, let's go see what they have to share. Take my whole I'm real, and this is our house. It's awesome. <laughs> they are known as the tiny house kids. And so everybody wants to come to have play dates at our house versus their house. And sleepovers. And sleepovers. You would think it's a small space, maybe not sleepovers, but no. We'll have like six There's kids. There's a lot more sleepovers room. than we had in the bigger house. I owned a business for over nine years and I sold it in 2016. And we decided to do something a little crazy. We sold our house, pretty much got rid of everything we own and built a tiny house so that we could come up to see the Pacific Northwest without a mortgage. You had the <laughs> impetus to do it and I was all like, I guess I'll go along for the ride, so. Right now we are on seven acres. There's a house not too far away and so we're basically sharing the space. <laughs> so this is the kitchen area. This is basically where me and Kim hang out mostly because we kind of cook like a team. And we have three kids, so we have a lot of cooking. We have a dishwasher. That is hidden. That is now steaming. <laughs> oh, it is a hidden dishwasher. A hidden dishwasher. Um, not very organized drawers, but we have oh. tons of space for stuff, lots of collapsible so stuff. We, have, we hire children to do most of our housekeeping and <laughs> They just, they just organization kind of is not a there. big necessity to them. Um, so when you were designing this space, were you like, I need a big kitchen because I have three kids? Yeah, and a big husband who eats a lot. <laughs> yeah, I so, but I really like to cook too. So this is this is pretty much most of the house's food and kitchen. We've got four burner uh, propane cooktop. So I've made Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner here. We have an oven. So I can cook a turkey in here or whatever we need. This is propane and this is electric. So uh, if the power goes out, we can at least have coffee and cook things on the stove top. More random storage space here. Our Christmas tree. Uh, <laughs> I don't know many tiny houses that have a Christmas tree. But it rolls out. Where is it? Where so is a collapsible. It? Yeah, and then you hang it on the wall or the okay. windows. So this is our smeg. Um, it's a German refrigerator. Is it? Yeah, it's German. Um, so this kind of, I designed the whole house around it, so the yellow and the door and stuff were kind of inspired by this. Um, it's like an apartment size, so we can fit quite a bit of food in there. The freezer really sucks. You can't fit anything in it. So. But it looks pretty. It's pretty, so that's all that really matters. Right. right. And then here's our stair storage. So it's got my apron. Uh, as you tell, tons of food and stuff, it goes really deep in there. So, we try to minimize our shoes, but if everybody course, gets yeah. two pairs of shoes or three pairs of shoes, that still ends up being at least 15 pairs of shoes. So, we use this space for all of our shoes and boots and flip-flops. You like living in our tiny house? Yeah. Okay. Tell me what you like about living in the tiny house. Before we each had our separate rooms, but now we each have our own room and we can play together more and we can have more family time. So, a washer and a dryer. We looked at like the all-in-one, but I've heard that they take a really long time to dry and you have to do like half a size load. And with us and five of us, we're always doing laundry. So this was easier for us. When you have kids in a tiny house, everybody always asks, how do we have adult time? You turn on the dryer. <laughs> um, that's all I'm gonna say. It's yeah. a kind of a loud machine. <laughs> we, we bought it for its decibel level, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> and it shakes the house just a tiny bit. <laughs> So our bathtub is going 
going to be remodeled soon, so we have a modified horse trough. We are going to eventually make this tiled and make it into like a two-person shower kind of thing. Composting toilet. With instruction guide. Because we have a lot of kids coming in, you know, to play and stuff. So we always have to remind them to read the directions because little kids don't intuitively know how to use the composting toilet, so... And some adults are confused by it as well. And what do you mean, what goes where? <laughs> and we've had a few mishaps. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so. sure. All around though, do you like this toilet? Yeah, we may just fix them getting used to. As a family of five, we have to empty it probably more than most people. It's like every three and a half weeks. It's every still like, three and a half weeks. Yeah. Tell me about these glasses. Uh, so I have a, a glasses obsession, and I have a business where I actually sell glasses. So I found that thing on Etsy and I thought it was really cool so I can hang all my glasses on there and have be able to pick and choose and not have the cases and everything. We keep all of our clothes here, so all of this is Raul, all of this is me. Um, we kind of have to do capsule wardrobe type stuff, so, you know, seasonal to kind of rotate out. Is that your so, only closet? This is our only closet, besides the hanging stuff here that's Raul's. Mm -hmm. But yeah, all of my stuff is there, and then all of his stuff is there. Together. So can you both climb up without having to bend down? Well, I mean, I get about this far. I mean, I'm shorter than him. So. Yeah. How tall are you, Raul? I'm 6'4". Oh, yeah. The tiny house is called Idris which is an homage to Doctor Who. Which is a very obscure Doctor <laughs> Who reference. There's probably one guy going, oh, I totally know what that is. <laughs> there we go. I had to sacrifice half of my cool nerd t-shirts. He didn't want to get rid of them. I didn't want so to get rid of them. So he had like 30, 40 nerd shirts. So we put it into a quilt. These are actually diapers. That They're the, maybe Super the Mario had. themed Aww. baby diapers. And then that we couldn't get rid of, so we decided to convert them into part of our quilt. You wore this when River was born. Because <laughs> the dude does abide. <laughs> <laughs> this is River as newborn, like dress she wore. Um, My Little Pony, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Superman, Star Wars, Goonies. That's kind of neat though, you, you like have memories based on all of these and you didn't get rid of them, instead you turned it into something yeah. else. Lord Vader. Say hi Vader. His dark majesty. <laughs> <laughs> he's fierce, right? He's, he, he, totally, he could totally be evil, right? If he wanted yeah. to be. No, <laughs> no, he can't be evil. We don't have any special tiny house couch or anything, we just have a regular Ikea couch because Kids ruin everything. I didn't want to build something and then have somebody draw on, with a marker all over it and then have to redo it. The pillows, <laughs> kind of going with their same theme. They're all nerd shirts. This is my wedding dress and they made it into a bear. So since I didn't have anywhere to store it, I had to make it into a bear. And then this is Rolls. He wore a Green Lantern shirt under his tux. So that's the Green Lantern shirt that you wore. So it was hard for you to get rid of all your nerd stuff, but you did keep books and, and games and... And comic books, and I kept all my favorite stuff. There are some standouts that I loved very much. And, like, and I had to RPG keep... And like RPG game, gaming books, a lot of them are rare, so you can't find them anywhere. They don't, so they're, not, they're out of print. Kept them. So Raul's would not compromise on the... Well, no, he did. I did compromise. We had a... This is my compromise, dude. What size is this one? This is a 60. This is a 60. We had a 70 <laughs> in our other house. So he did downsize. And I found these things and they're called You Hide It, I think. Yeah. And I found them on Amazon and so they're mounts for all of his game stuff. So we can hang the controllers and hang his game stuff so it doesn't actually take up any space anywhere else. So that really kind of helped me let him keep all of that stuff. Yay. We have the... Standard IKEA tiny house table that, that I've everybody in has in the tiny house. <laughs> we have six chairs that are hung on the wall, so we can seat six at the table. We open it up, and then we usually put it like in the middle area, the foyer. We've even had house parties here, where like we just put a bunch of food on the table. We probably have like twenty. We've had twenty people, people, people here. It gets so, really so. cramped. I mean, but I mean, it's like an apartment party. We're like an apartment. But if you don't like the person, don't invite me. Exactly. You have to really like the people <laughs> you invite. All right. So this is the kids' room. This is all toys. This is all clothes, and then books and stuff. And then we go to the library and all that. This is 
our oldest son's bed. So he stays up here. They've got pillows and blankets. This is the middle kid's bed. And then the baby has a trundle bed that we can pull out and it goes all the way out. And then we're able to put it back. What's cool about this is that they are forced to clean their room every day because they have to put the bed up and then they have to clear off the floor in order to pull the bed out. So it forces them to clean their room. How much time do you think it takes to clean your room? Like 10 minutes, 10 or 7, I'm not sure, nine. And do you do it every day? Uh, uh, mm, <laughs> At some point we plan to put like curtains here to kind of give them a little bit of privacy. And then we do have a plan for a bigger mm -hmm. tiny that would be like 500 square feet. But what's nice is we're saving money every, because we don't have a mortgage. So we, we get to put it a lot into savings to build our house. So, mm -hmm. so we plan to build that outright and not have a mortgage on that house too. So Cool. By the time Jackson's 13, we're gonna start planning his tiny house. That's one of our main goals. And we want him to go to school debt free and not having to worry where he's gonna live from moment to moment. Any tips for anyone who wants to live in a tiny house with children? I would say <laughs> lots of food storage, making sure you have room for toys and clothes and shoes seem to be the biggest thing food, that I wasn't really thinking about. Mostly food. And food, mostly food. They mostly do food. eat a lot of food. Oh, and uh, shoes. Shoes, right? I just said that. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> make sure you like your children and your wife. <laughs> It's really great to see how a family of five can live in such a small space and really make it work. So if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.